श्री गुरु चरण कमले भ्यू नम देन सूत महाराज रिटर्न होम he removed that unwanted person's crown and as soon as he removed he came to his senses oh what i did what a mistake i had done regret prayas chitta ja papani narayan paran mukham those who are great devotees they do not need to do atonement for any mistake but parikit maharaj was a householder so he regretted for his mistake he became very morose very upset thinking that i have offended an innocent brahmin sanyasi sadha i will surely be punished for this yes i want to be punished so i do not commit such a mistake again actually it is a fact who will think this way only a sincere devotee i should be punished for my mistake i did a mistake i should be punished that is the thinking of a real devotee those who do not like to be punished for their mischief they are unfortunate if i am punished oh lord my sin will be burnt as he was thinking this way a message came message carrier of samik rishi came there and told informed the king what had happened that he has to die in 7 days by a bite the snake bite so hearing this he did not take a revenge he thanked krishna oh lord thank you very much for punishing me i was becoming attached to my family my possessions materially attached is not good for liberation therefore oh krishna thank you very much to create this environment of snake bite death so i could relinquish everything from this she gave his kingdom to his son janmejaya relinquished everything and went to ganges sitting on the bank of ganges Ganges is the water washed the lotus feet of the Lord, and it carries aroma of Tulsi. Anybody who touches Ganges becomes free from sin. So, King went to the bank of Ganges. <clears throat> the news of snake bite. of king parike spread everywhere like a wildfire so all the sages from different directions started coming bring to along with their children's disciples they all came who came para asara basisht chavana saradman arisht nemi bhrugu angirascha अत्री वशिष्ठ गाधिशुथराम उतथ्येन्द्र गौतम पिपलाद पराशर मुनि केम अत्री मुनि केम वशिष्ठ मुनि केम चवन मुनि केम शरद बान केम अरिष्ट नेमी केम पिपलाद केम गौतम केम विश्वामित्र केम परशुराम केम Vyasa Muni also came, Gautam came, Pripala came. All these great sages came along with their disciples. Seeing them, King welcomed them. 
and felt great that all these great sages came to him. He respected them, paid his obeisances to them. When the sages sat down near him, it is true. Tarasa sparsha mukha majjana prana kate paap likhe veda purana. All Vedas and Puranas say that by seeing a sadhu, by touching the sadhu, conversing with the sadhu, removes all sins. So, he felt grateful and told them, it's all Krishna's mercy that you all had come here to benefit me. I'm not afraid, I'm not scared about my death. Please tell me about the transcendental narrations, the nectarine narrations of the Supreme Lord, because my death is coming close. It does not matter if I have to take another birth. Please bless me in such a way that I take birth in a devotee's house where I start chanting the name of Krishna from the very beginning of my life. Saying this, Parikit Mahara, after saying this, Parikit Mahara humbly sat down facing north. North is for liberation. And he sat on the south side of the Ganges, means right side of the Ganges. Udangmukho Dakhina Kula Aste Samudra Patni means he sat facing north. Dakhina Kula Aste right side of the flowing river. Flo river flows this way, then he said this side. This is devotee's side. Left side is for jnanis, speculators. That's why all sages, they all make right side on the bank of any river. And this Mayavadis, though, wear this kind of tilak and have no tilak, they think they are God, they go to the left side. At that time, Sukadev Goswami also entered. Sukadev Goswami was surrounded by children and women. He was 16 years old, very beautiful, raised chest, brown skin, brown, blackish brown skin, young, beautiful, curly hair, beautiful. So the ladies, young ladies became very attractive. And the children became because he was Abhaduta, almost Degambara, means copying only, loincloth on his body. So the children were around him because of his loincloth business. Degambaram, diga, digam, ambaram, yasasa, digambaram. All the directions are his clothes, covering his clothes, like the clothes. That's why it's called Digambara. <clears throat> When Parik, uh, Sukhdev Goswami sat down, Parikit Maharaj paid his humble obeisances to him and asked, <clears throat> Tatascha vah prushtam imam vipruche drashubhi vipra iti krityatayam sarvatmanam riyamanesh chakrityam suddham chatatra bhrushav nadiyaya. Please tell, if a person is going to die, what he should do, what kind of japa he must chant, what karma, what activity he must do, what he should remember, what japa he must do, what kirtanam he should do. Hearing such a question from Parikin, The son of Vyasa Maharshi Sukhdev Goswami replied, even though Vyasa Maharshi was seated there, 
my Vyas Maharshi did not speak one way or another because Sukadev Goswami was self-realized even in the womb. And all the sages could know by seeing his physical symptom that he's a pure devotee. That's why everybody gave him that seat to talk. <laughs> Yasyam Sarvana Matrena. King is asking further. By remembering whom? Punsam Sadhya. A human being immediately. Suddhyantivai Gruha. Householder like me become purified. Can you please tell that narration? by hearing which householder people like me can become purified. Because by seeing you, sparsanat by touching you, by smaranat by remembering you, one can become purified. And I am seeing you. I am conversing with you. Kim Socha Sanadi we are close, sitting very close, not far. I am more fortunate, I am very fortunate. <clears throat> then Parikit Maharaj says, Sanidhyante Mahayogin Pakakani Mahanati Sadyo Nashyanti Vaipunsam Vishnu Riva Suretara My nearness of pure personalities like you. Great sins run away just as demons run away by seeing Lord Vishnu, he says. I am so grateful that you have arrived. You are the greatest of all yogis. You, are, you talk with Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna is, manif is living manif actively in your heart. Please tell me, yat srotabhyam, what will one remember when near death is near him? Atho japyam, what kind of japa he must do? What mantra he should chant as japa when death is near to him? Kim kartabyam, what kind of activities that person should do when death is near to him? Smartabyam, kim smartabyam, what should he recollect, remember? But he should meditate upon him. Kim Bhajani, what kind of bhajana, devotional service he must do? Please tell me. What should he be paryayam? What should he give up? What things are those which should he give up, not think, relinquish them? Please tell me. Evam Prabhasita Prushta Saragya Slaknaya Gira with grave voice. King had asked these questions. When Shudev Goswami heard this grave voice, this question, he became very happy. Pratyabhasita Dharmagyo. He started speaking because he knew all religions. All science complete in him. That's why he is called Bhagavan. Sukadev Goswami is addressed here as Bhagavan Badarayani. Bhagavan Badarayani means son of Vyasadev, who is as powerful as God. That's why Guru is addressed as God. Guru is as good as God because he's very close to God, he's always in connection with God. He don't forget even one minute. So Sukadev Goswami is the same. So Parikit Maharaj had taken initiation in that way. And uh, Sukadev Goswami is acting as spiritual master. 
and he respected, welcomed, and gave him a seat, washed his feet, and humble devotion, stood up and asked. When he asked in this way, Sudev Goswami starts speaking. That's where the first canto Chanat Bhagavatam ends. Second canto, Sukadev Goswami will speak, starts from second canto. Thank you very much.